Good morning, everyone. Thanking God for another day. Thanking God because he didn't have to do it, but he woke us again. And for that reason, we give God thanks. We give God praise. We give God glory. We give God honor on today because truly his name is worthy to be praised. Oh, I tell you what, God is just awesome, y'all. I'm just excited. I'm excited about what God is doing in the life of his people. I'm excited about what God is doing in my life. I got a testimony coming up soon, y'all, that I will be sharing with everyone. Because I tell you what, I just thank God from where he had brought me from and to this present point right now. I thank God for what he has done in my life. I thank him for the good. I thank him for the bad. Oh, I give God praise today. I give God glory and I give God honor. Today, uh, <clears throat> I want to talk to everyone about praising God. That that subject just it just speaks for himself. The importance of praising God. I myself believe that I am a praiser. I believe that I was designed, I was born to praise and uplift the name of Jesus. And I tell you what, just to be able just to, to give God praises, to give God thanks for what he has done and our lives, for what he's doing, giving God thanks and praising praises just because of who he is. Because truly he is an awesome God. He is a mighty God and he is mighty in battle. And we just thank him on this morning. And I have a few uh, scriptures that I want to be reading from on this morning. Talking about praising our God. Let's go to, let's see, Psalms 100. This is very familiar. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is good. It is him who have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praises. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Let's back up for a minute. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. And you know, as I look through the book of Psalms and I read through it and this running references and looking up on the internet, different scriptures and stuff about praising God. And we can just look and see that praising God is from the beginning of the Bible, from Genesis all the way to Revelations. We can see scriptures on praising God and the importance of that. And it was it's one scripture that says that God inhabits our praises. And, and we know that our God, he is a jealous God. And he says that he wouldn't have no God before him. And that means, um, just plainly, it just means that God wants you to worship and praise him. We got to know that we are his being. We were designed to worship and praise God. Praising God is who we are as a believer and as a Christian. And, we, and it says that God inhabits our praises. That means he sits and he and he just rests. He just enjoys us praising him because he is God. He is mighty. He is awesome. He is our, our peace. He is our understanding. He is our everything. And we know that it's, God says, sing unto the Lord. Where's that scripture at where it says, sing unto the Lord a new song? Let me see where I can find it. Oh, Lord. Let's see. It says, let's go back to Psalms 92. It says, it is, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon the instruments of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harps with the solemn sound. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy works. I will triumph in thy works of thy hand. O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It just, it's just telling us, you know, like some, some churches, 
they don't believe in music or whatever. But I myself, I enjoy music. I tell you what, to me, it seems like the service just ain't right when you ain't got uh, give, uh, some good musicians in the building that can help usher in the spirit of God. Because God wants us to praise him. He said, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him because he is God. And I tell you what, I just get so excited about this topic because it just like something begins to work on the inside of me because it's just like a wheel in the middle of the wheel and he says to stir up the gift that is within you that gift to give God thanks to give God praises to it may be through songs through clapping your hands through stomping your feet through shouting with a loud voice through dancing the Bible said that David danced before the Lord he danced until his clothes fell off because he was just so thankful unto his God and I tell you what saints we got to realize that no matter what we going through we got to still praise God we got no the enemy is always on his job and he said I come to steal kill and destroy and what he wants to do he wants to come in and take your joy away from you not because not because he want to praise him but he just want to take it away from you because he want to keep you what he want to keep you bound with your arms crossed, with your hands full across you, because he don't want you to praise God. Because he know that when blessings, when praises go up, blessings come down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We know that when praises go up, blessings come down, because God enjoys our praise. He inhabits our praise on this morning. God, I thank you right now. I thank you, Jesus. And what is the highest praise that we can give him? Hallelujah on this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because we know that you are worthy to be praised. We praise you, God, because of who you are. We praise you because we know you're going to bring us out of this situation. And I tell you what, if you begin to, if you got something going on in your life, and you know you can't control it, ain't nothing you can do about it, so you may as well just do what? Give it to God. And continue to praise him and worship him in spirit and in truth. And he said that <clears throat> he that desires to worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Oh, y'all got to slow down. I'm, I'm just going a little bit too fast. I got to back it up now because I just, I just get so excited when I begin to talk about praising God. It's just something that begins to stir up on the inside of me because I know who my Redeemer is. I know who saved me. I know who delivered me from a miserable life of sin on this morning. God, I thank you right now. Because if it had not been for you, Lord, where would we be on this morning, go God? We would be lost with no sense of direction on this morning. And I thank you right now. God, I thank you for what you what you brought me through. I thank you for what you're doing right now in my life right now. In the name of Jesus. Because God is worthy to be praised on this morning. He is worthy. Hallelujah. He is worthy on this morning to be praised. Oh, I thank God that I don't have to go to a church house to praise him. I can praise him right here in my car. I can praise him on my job. Sometimes I be at work, I be just humming a song or singing a song, just giving praises unto God. They give me a name now called Choir Girl. But it's all good because that's who I am. That's who I am. I love to give praises and give thanks and give glory un unto God. Y'all, I thank you right now. I thank you for his presence right now. For I could feel him moving on the inside of me. And he said, you know, the enemy was trying to talk to me on this morning like how he always do. But the Bible said for us to do what? To resist the devil and he shall flee from you. He said he provides a way of escape for us from, from the enemy. That always trying to come in and do what? Eat, eat away from your flesh. Eat away from your spirit. He wants to destroy you. But we thank God for Jesus on this morning. And I tell you what, God is just good, y'all. God is real. God is real, y'all. He is real. And he is soon to come. We can look around and see all this going on. We know that God is soon to come. Oh, my God. And I pray that we all be ready. I pray we all be ready whenever he returns. I tell you what, I'm calling all, but I ain't waiting for none. Because I can see the signs of the end of time. Oh, yes. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you right now, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because you are worthy on this morning, God. Thank you, God, because you're worthy, God. You didn't have to give your son for me, God. 
But God, you gave your son for me, God. And he came and he died that I may have a right to the tree of life. And I thank God that early Sunday morning he rose with all power in his hands. He looked back at the old grave and he said, Oh, grave, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? He said, No man take my life, but I laid my life down and I can pick it up again. But I tell y'all what, he ain't dying no more. He done died one time and he's not dying anymore. And I'm telling you this morning that if you die now, you won't have to die no more. What you mean? What you talking about, Shannon? I saying if you repent and ask God to forgive you on this morning, forgive you for the sins that you have committed in this body, because you know we all going to stand before a just God one day, and we got to give an account for the deeds that are done in this body. But I'm telling you right now, if you ask him to come into your heart, I guarantee you he'll do it on this morning, and you will never be the same anymore. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Praise is what I do. When I want to be close to you, I lift my hands in praise. Praises who I am. I'm gonna praise him while I can. I vow to worship you. And I vow to praise you through the good and the bad. I praise you. Whether happy or sad, I praise you in all that I go through because praise is what I do. And I owe it all to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise is what I do. Praise is who I am. I'm going to praise you while I can. Saints, Christian, believers, and friends, continue to praise and worship God because he is the only one that's going to bring us through. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all just keep God on board. Just continue to praise and worship him. See you next time.